Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be seeing how we can get the data from Apache Droid into Apache Superset and create some kind of time series graph. So in Apache Droid, we have data uh, that is coming from Apache Kafka and from the stock market data from Python script that we are uh, putting it into Kafka and then consuming it into Droid. So this is what the data is. From the last video you might have seen this so in apache superset first thing we will have to do is uh, to install the drivers for apache druid so i'm going to just go to google and check apache druid superset and here you will see somewhere down here it is showing connecting with apache superset so inside this, we just have to copy this thing. I'm going to stop the superset service or here it is running like this. Once it is stopped. So we will have to go into environment. We are in environment, you can see it here. I'm going to install this thing. It's installed, we can start on superset service. Let's check if superset is up and running. It might take a few moments. Let's wait for that. Okay, so our Apache Superset is running. Now I'm just going to move it down here. And in database connection, I'm going to create a database connection. Here you can see Apache Droid is available. Once this is available, you can, I mean, if it, even if it is not available, that is fine. You just have to just uh, give SQL Alchemy URI. So I'm going in here and you should be able to see it like this we have to modify it but i'm going to paste it as it is as of now i don't have any username password set so i'm going to ignore it and here let me check because last time it was giving me error uh local host should be fine and port is let me check it is going to be the default port. You can see connection looks good. I'm going to connect it. Okay, so our data set database is created. Let's move to data set and create new data set. Here, the only thing available is Apache Droid. I'm going to select schema Droid, topic test topic. You can see we have time, price, and name. We have option create data set and create chart. So data set is test topic from the topic it selected itself. And so there is time series, but I'm going to select generic chart. They have changed the original time series charts name, I believe, to generic chart. So this is how it will be. Inside X axis, we are going to select the time. You can see uh, here it's showing time. And here I'm going to select, let's select like 30 seconds because we are anyway going to send like with a bit of lag. Then we have, we don't need name, but let's have it like dimension, matrix price. So as a share price, we are considering every 12 seconds. So it should be max mean. You can have it accordingly. I'm considering max of the price. Save it and update the chart. You can see it is showing like 532, 533. Obviously, this is totally randomly generated data because the market is off now. So it is showing these kind of things. But when the market is on, you should be able to see proper data. So 
as I'm recording on off days. So market will be obviously off. So that's why we will see these kind of issues. But the script will show the correct data as well. So I'm going to put it as stock market trade. The chart name is this. And I'm going to create the same name with the dashboard. Save and go to dashboard. You can see it's available here. Let me quickly expand it a bit. And save it. Now, uh, I will. We have 540, and after that, there is no data. I'm going to edit the dashboard to set the refresh to every at least every 10 seconds. Let's do one thing. Uh, I'm going to cut this video for this and in the next video we will go through entire process and uh, we'll see if it reflects.